In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a product label like this. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here. Thank you so much for showing up again. So here are the resources that I'll be using in this video. I have the text that I'll be using as well here. So I'll be just copying and pasting them. But for the meantime, these are the three most vibrant things that we'll be using in this video. So let's get into the world of Photoshop. So here in the world of Photoshop, I'll go to file and then new. I'm going to create a new document, of course. So I'll make sure that I have this in inches and then I have six by six by 1.7 over here. And then I'll go ahead and then I'll click OK. Now, first off, I'm going to add a solid color to this. So I'll go to here and I'll add a solid color. And then I'm using the foreground color, which I have over here to be this particular color. So I'll go ahead and then I'll click OK. I'll go to my resources and then I have this first download or this first resource over here. So I'll drag and drop it inside of Photoshop and then I'll leave it just on top of the solid color. I hold shift and then alt unless otherwise you are using photoshop 2019 or 2020 and then i will expand it or you say transform it and then i will drag i'll make sure that i have these particular parts on top of the solid color and then i will just leave it right over there so i right click and go to rasterize layer and then i'll go to the blending mode and i'm going to set this one to overlay so you see that you have this very deep over here so i'm going to decrease the opacity i'll just lower it to something very low 20 21 would do or probably 19 just leave it at a place that will be so comfortable for you so once i leave it over there i'll go back to my resources again and then i have the second resource so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this one also into photoshop and then i will leave it over here now the first thing that we need is this ic glass and then the lemon or whatever is in there that is the only part that we need we don't need the bottles over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stretch it up or transform it so that it can be a little bit very bigger and then i'll place it over here now i've already established that we don't need the bottles we don't we only need this part from the glass filled with the sobolo so i'm going to right click on this one and i'm going to rasterize the layer and just like we don't need this part so i'm going to lower this opacity to around 50 percent okay so when you hit on five it is going to lower this to 50 percent or basically like 40 44 just something that wouldn't make this very plain now we still have this one over here so what we're going to do is i'm going to add the layer max to it and i'm going to choose my brush to you make sure that you have your opacity at 100 percent but this hardness is a zero percent and then i'm going to brush off this area basically like that so we just get this part done and then we are left with only this side like that so you take your time to do it and then we are good to go next off i'll go back to my resources again and i'll bring this same thing into photoshop again now the first one we needed only the glassy part but this time we need the bottle side so i'm going to transform it to make it bigger and i'm going to bring it over here so i need just the bottle side and i will shift it to this side like that and then i'll double click on this one to make sure it is done now what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on this one and rasterize it set this to soft light and then i'm going to decrease the opacity to around 70 73 just to make sure that it looks good let's try to decrease it a little bit so that i can be of the same level with this side so i'm going to add the layer max to it again and we're going to get rid of this side so i'm going to brush it to make sure that it blends with the background so you can see that from the left and the right it is almost the same we have it on the same levels so next off i'm going to add a test to this so i'll go for my test tool and on top of these ones i'm going to write a test so i'll left click over here and i'm going to use a font called lovely home i'll link it up in the description so you can download it so i'm going to type ambassadorial like that so i'll press ctrl a to make sure that it is in the middle and then i'll press ctrl t to transform it a little bit like that once that is written basically you can just group these ones and you call it the background just like that so 
you group these ones and you call it the background and from the test app here we're going to give it a different name so once i have my ambassadorial so below i'm going to duplicate it by pressing ctrl j and then i'll drag it to the bottom part of it so i'm going to select this one i'm going to change it to sobolo let me know in the comment section why you call this particular thing in your local dialects so i'm going to select it all and i'm going to change the font called eth i'll link it up also in the description and then i'm going to press ctrl a to make sure that that one is also in the middle so i'll press ctrl d to deselect it and i'll press ctrl t again to transform it to make it a little bit bigger so it is going to read like ambassadorial sobolo just like that right so what i'm going to do next is inside of this sobolo i want to create a different or i want to create something like an ellipse or a circle within it so i'll go for my ellipse tool here and i'm going to hold shift to create a very rounded circle or a perfect circle and then i'm going to change the color to white so i'll double click on the thumbnail over here to change the color to white and then i can make sure that i use my arrow controls to make sure that it is positioned right inside or in the middle of the o so this is how it is going to look like and beneath of this o again i want to create another circle so basically i can just duplicate this circle by pressing ctrl j and i'll bring it over here but this one is going to be behind the sobolo so i'll drag it to the down here so it has to be under of the sobolo and i'll press ctrl t to transform it to make it bigger like this so it goes way beyond that of the o over there right so i'm going to lower the fill to make it zero so you can't see anything right click and go to the blending options over here and then i'm going to add a stroke to it so i'm going to change the color of the stroke to white and then i'm going to increase the size a little bit so it doesn't really need to be that bigger but at least it has to be something nice so like eight is going to be okay for me now once i'm done with this i'm going to click ok so you see that we have the circle around it and after i'm done i'm going to right click over here and go to the rasterize layer style so i have it to be a complete layer now and then i'll go for my elliptical market tool over here and then i'm going to create some couple of style in the circle that we just created so i'll select right over here and then i'm going to hit delete and then i'll come back to this side and then i'm going to hit delete also so i'll create that style and then from here you can just press ctrl t to transform it if it looks way bigger for you so it creates that sort of nice design around the circle for you so next of all, i'm going to create a slogan for this particular label so i'm going to select from the ellipse to the ambassadorial and i'm going to push it up a little bit so that i'll have space underneath here to create that slogan or motto however you want to call it so on top of the ellipse over here or basically on top of the sobolo they are all just going to be grouped into one thing so you can just place it anywhere you have to make sure that it falls within that particular group so i'll go for the test tool and i'm going to use a font called chi chi i don't know how this is going to be pronounced but i'll link it up in the description if you want to write in chi that is the font that you're going to use and this is going to be in the local language so i'll do the translation later on so what i'm going to write is a year spiritual sobolo so basically this translates to it is spiritual sobolo so that is the motto or the the slogan if you want to call it that way so i'll select it all and then i'm going to change this one to italic that is basically it and i'll press ctrl t to transform this one over here like that and i'll bring it down and i'll press ctrl a to make sure that it is in the middle as well so we have this to be our main test and i'm going to select it all from the uh, spiritual sobolo which translates to it is spiritual sobolo through to the ambassadorial here and i'm going to group that and i'll call that one main so you can see from here that if i turn this one off we have all our tests right there and let me just go ahead and add an exclamation mark to this one so next off on top left i'm going to input the ingredients that we used in this 
or doing this so below so basically i'll create a rectangle over here at the top left side somewhere around this side would do for me and then i'm going to change this particular color to black so once it is black i'm going to change the opacity to 44 percent so you can just drag it from here from the opacity or you can just input in the numbers or the figures so i'm going to press ctrl t to transform this one a little bit like this make it quite small and cute and i'm going to position it over here so i'll press ctrl e to make sure that it is centered in the middle over there and on top of that one i'm going to copy this particular thing that i've written over here this test into it so i'll choose a font so i'll select my test tool and on top of this i'm not going to write inside directly inside of the rectangle that i've created so right on top of this rectangle i'm going to add my test so i'll go for my test tool and i'm not going to write directly inside of the rectangle because it is going to clip it or something like that so i'll write just at the extreme right small like that and i'm going to use a font called akan vedena i don't know if that's how it is pronounced but i'll link it up so you can download and use it so i'm going to type in here ingredients and then i'm going to press ctrl t to transform this nicely by holding shift and then alt and then i'll drag and position it over here so it looks good over there you take your time to use the arrow controls and then you can position it now you have to make sure that you have your alignment set to the left aligned so that you can just have or so that it can just work out with what whatever that we're about doing so i'll shift this one over here and try to make sure that it is in the middle i'll press ctrl j to duplicate it and then i'll shift it to the left side a little bit that is when i'm going to copy this particular test that i have over here and i'm going to select it right from here and i'm going to paste it but i don't want it all in caps so i'm going to turn this caps off like that and i'm going to change this font also to a font called alexis bitmap so i'll link it up as well so alexis bitmap and it looks nice over there so i'll press ctrl t and try to open it up a little bit like that and once this is done we are all set to go so i can go ahead and group this one and i'm going to call that one the ingredients so on the top right over here i'm going to create another rounded rectangle so i'll create it over here like this and i'm going to change the color also to black so i'm going to press ctrl t to transform this one open it up a little bit like that and just to um to make sure that everything is on point i'm going to select my main press ctrl a and make sure that it is centerized well it is centerized so i'll go back to the rounded rectangle i'm going to change that one to also the opacity to 44 percent if i remember well we did this 44 percent right so on top of that one i'm going to also add a test to it so i'm going to select this test ingredients and i'm going to duplicate it by pressing ctrl j i'll bring it over here and make sure that it has been sent on top of a rounded rectangle so i'll push it down a little bit and then i'm going to change this one to health benefits so health benefits over here and once you're done with that one you can just take time to make sure that it is positioned over here i will as well duplicate this particular test and then i'm going to drag it over here and make sure that it is also sent to the top very top of it all and then i'm going back to my resources or my test and i'm going to select this one over here copy it and i'm going to select this test and then i'm going to paste it this looks way bigger than the rounded rectangle that we created so i'm going to press ctrl t and try to transform it to make sure that it fits right inside of there so i'll try to open the rounded rectangle a little bit as well so that it can just contain all the info that we have in there so once this is done i'll also go ahead and group that one and i'm going to call this one the health benefits okay so the last two things are going to be the location and then of course the contact details so on top here i'm going to add a test to it and i'm going to use acrobat so i'm going to write location over here and it is going to be uewk 
that is the university of education Winnebacoma say campus so this particular ambassadorial sobolo is right available at the university of education Kumasi campus so if you're around you can just come for one and then the contact details i'm going to bring in this contact icon or the call icon over here i'll drag it inside of photoshop and then i'm going to transform it to make it a little bit bigger like this or smaller of course and then i'll try and scale it down again i right click and then rasterize the layer i right click again and then go to the blending options over there so i'll go to the color overlay and i'm going to change this color to white and i'll click ok so afterwards i'm going to duplicate this location right over here by pressing ctrl j and i'll drag it to the bottom part of it and i'm going to paste a test that i've already copied yeah, and i'll paste it over there so i press ctrl t to transform it and then i'll position it right over there so i can press ctrl t to transform my location up a little bit also push it to the top and then i'll select my call icon and my number over here and try to position it just to make sure that it is in alignment to make sure that the design looks good once this is done i'll select all of these three and i'm going to group that into details or contact details and basically that's it that's how to create a very simple product label for your startup business you can use this in a bakery the liquid soap or any other thing that you've started up you just have to follow the concept and then you come up with something that is pretty much interesting one thing that i forgot to tell you in the beginning is that you have to take a measure of the product that you are working on before you come up with the design because not all labels or not all bottles or not all can things are going to pick the same size as this one so you have to first of all measure whatever that you're going to use in this design before you come up or you start up even with the design and that's it thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video let me know in the comment section what you call sobolo in your local dialect or in your local language thank you so much once again for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye